Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, you are very welcome to Activity Therapy. This week we are going to look at occupation and its relationship to occupational therapy. According to World Federation of Occupational Therapists, occupational therapy is a client-centered health profession concerned with promoting health and well-being through occupation. The primary goal of occupational therapy is to enable people to participate in activities of everyday life. The occupational therapists achieve this outcome by working with people and community to enhance their ability to engage in occupations they want to, they need to or expected to do or by modifying occupations and the environment to better support their occupational engagement. Most of the activities revolves around these three major categories. Number one, activities of daily living. Number two, leisure. Number three, work activities. So activities of, ther activities of daily living in turn divided into two subcategories. Number one, self-care or personal activities of daily living. Number two, domestic or instrumental activities of daily living. So the personal activities of daily living includes activities like uh, eating, drinking, bathing and dressing. And first the domestic and or instrumental activities of daily living includes activities like cooking, driving, shopping and financial management. This is more like extra personal activities we do day-to-day -day life and the leisure number two leisure activity it includes the interest a hobby play rest and sleep so the activities like meeting friends visiting family and reading books and watching televisions and engaging in social activities includes in leisure activities Number three, work activities. It includes the preparatory activities like education, pre-vocational activities like a training and placement activities. Occupational therapists work with the client to identify the occupations the client wants to, needs to, engage in and they identify the personal factors which is intrinsic and external factors or extrinsic factors in, in relation with the occupation and env environment in which occupation occurs. In personal factors there are a number of factors which needs to meet the demands of the occupation namely the physical and cognitive abilities and emotional and spiritual abilities of the client and also the external factors like the role familial role and socio-economical factors and cultural and familial factors so the occupational therapist meticulously work with the client to identify the factors impact their engagement in our occupations. So in terms of the physical factors like reduced grip or dexterity or reduced or reach, they could actually employ a device like a build up cutleries in order to achieve their activity in feeding and also they employ the basic devices like a wheelchair 
in order to achieve their uh, mobility from bedroom to bathroom or bathroom to kitchen and then occupations so they modify occupation in order to achieve occupational engagement like if someone has difficulty with their mobility level if they want to get out of bed to get into the chair whereas they could actually sit up not able to mobile or start walk so in that scenario the occupational therapist could you know, engage or involve the transfer boards or sliding boards so they can actually safely and independently go from bed to the wheelchair or the armchair so they don't need to stand in order to achieve that activity so it's in this scenario the occupation therapist modifying the occupation according to the the client's abilities and in terms of the modifying the environment in order to achieve the occupational engagement the most popular modification we hear in day-to-day -day life like creating a ramp in home setup or in public places and also things like stair lift and floor lift we hear time to time they modify the environment to meet the client's needs so they can engage in occupations so there are a number of uh, technologies and strategies we could engage in order to facilitate these kind of engagements so the it's up to the occupational therapist to devise the strategy in collaboration with the patients and the clients to suggest and recommend and ultimately it is the choice of the individual and the client who is engaging in occupation so it is is directly linked with the patient's emotional and spiritual abilities their mood and motivation and the meaning spiritual meaning of the occupation for them thank you for watching like share subscribe activity therapy for more of these ins inspirational videos thank you